Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my makeup on a regular basis. I am not a makeup artist, not a beauty guru, but I do do this makeup literally every day. So I feel pretty comfortable and I wanted to share with you guys just how I do my makeup, the products I use, and it's a super quick and easy makeup look. I think it takes me around like 10 minutes in the morning. And yeah, I thought it would be fun to share with you guys. I will link any of the products that I use below and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I have a fresh face. I already put on all my moisturizers and my serums. So now I'm going to start with my primer, which is my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in Blurring, which is my favorite thing ever. I start at like the center of my face and just kind of work out because that is where most of my pores are, are around my nose and kind of where my makeup breaks up the easiest. So I start in the center and then just work my way out. Next is foundation, which I have been obsessed with the Born This Way by Too Faced foundation for a long time. I've honestly gone through quite a few of them and I am in the color light beige and I basically am just going to use a beauty blender, beauty sponge, whatever, and apply that to my entire face. Make sure to do my neck because I feel like that helps blend all of your makeup together. Next is concealer, which I put just some under my eyes, on my chin, and then I have a few dark spots that I'm a little self-conscious about, so I apply a little bit of that, and then along my jawline, I just use any of the extra concealer on my brush. Use the same sponge and just blend that out. I like to bring it onto my eyelids as well, so that my kind of like eye area is super bright and I don't have any like veins or redness showing through so I just blend this all out next we're gonna set everything with a translucent powder I love the one by Laura, Laura Mercier I feel like there's just like no better one so using the same sponge I just use the bigger end I start at the corner of my mouth and go up towards my ear and then I just do a tiny bit around my eye. I don't want to look super dry, so I don't want to over set my face because I am going for a more like glowy look. So I'm just going to set just a little bit because I do sometimes crease under my eyes. So I don't contour my face a ton, but I do let my translucent powder set along my jawline. I let this sit for probably like one minute or something, but I'll, once I'm doing my bronzer, I kind of blend it all away. But I feel like letting this kind of sit here, once I blend it all together, it kind of creates a really nice cheekbone like illusion, and I think it's really pretty. So like I said, I don't contour a ton. This is probably like the most like contoury thing I do, but I do let this sit it and I feel like it really does help so now we're gonna go in with bronzer and kind of blend everything and wipe away this extra powder that I have I am obsessed with the hula bronzer I feel like it's a perfect color for the summertime it's really warm and I always start up by my ear and work my way down towards my mouth just so that it's not super harsh right by my mouth so I'll start by my ear and lightly work my way down. Okay, I feel like you can already tell like how much more like slim my face looks on this side. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe away the powder that I have left so that it is blended a lot more. And then I like to do under my jaw just to kind of help, again, hide the double chin and just create the illusion of like a better sharper jawline so I'll just put a little bronzer along my jaw and then I'll go down my neck because you don't want your face and neck to be like a total different color so all right now we're gonna move up to my forehead which I like to do with the temples and I go right into my hairline 
okay and then I do just the tiniest amount on my nose not really to contour it but just to give it a little color and definition so I'll do just the sides a little a little bit underneath and that is good I'll use the leftover just on my eyelids just a little but not anything crazy okay bronzer is done and now we're gonna do blush I use a really light pink blush by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color spoiled and I just start on the apples of my cheeks and kind of go in a circle motion and work towards the ear I feel like my skin is one of those types that kind of eats makeup so when I put it on right away I do it a little heavier but within an hour it's like almost gone so I don't know if that's like happens to a lot of you but I just feel like sometimes my face I'm like where did my blush go so when I am applying it I do it a little heavier but um, within like an hour it honestly is like super subtle so we're just gonna apply that Moving on to my favorite part, which is highlight. I am using my favorite one by MAC. It is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I basically just take a brush, start at my cheekbones, and kind of like follow the like top of my cheekbone and lightly put that on there. And then I kind of just like blend it out to make it look super natural and then I don't grab any extra but I'll just take whatever's left on my brush and go above my brow bone just to add just a little bit of highlight but nothing crazy and I take a little bit and put it on the tip of my nose and down the bridge and a tiny bit above my lip on the cupid's bow I feel like this just helps give your lips like an even even more like full look so I just put a little bit above there so I'm like in the inner corner of my eye you guys I'm telling you this is my favorite part and I think it's so pretty for the summer so I just kind of I don't grab any more and I just go around my eyes just to brighten them up a little and my face is done and before I go to my eyes I like to set everything just because if I spray this on once I do my mascara sometimes my mascara will like run and obviously that's a disaster so I like to set this first and I use the Morphe continuous setting spray it's a super fine mist so I just love it I also feel like this gives me like the perfect glow too it kind of adds on top of the highlight and I just love it. It smells good. It feels good. And it does really make your makeup stay throughout the day. My right, face is done and we're going to move on to brows, which I just started using a new product and I've only done it a few times. But it is the Anastasia Dip Brow Palmade. So you basically get this and then you take a brush and you kind of like paint them on so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera just because it takes me a long time but um, so far I have really liked this and I feel like I have a little bit more control than I did with the pencil uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that this color is dark brown if you guys are wondering and I'm gonna go ahead take a mirror and get really close and try to get a good brow I'm a little scared brows are done they so badly need to be threaded if I got really close to the camera you would see but I feel like if I haven't gotten them done in a few months they just are hard to shape and look really nice so this is as good as they're gonna look for now and I'm gonna go ahead and use my bronzer that I used earlier and just kind of go into the crease of my eyelid I don't like to use a ton of eyeshadow right now so I just do this to kind of help give a little definition to my eye so I basically just go back and forth with my bronzer and just kind of blend it out 
All right, and that is all that I do on my lids. Moving on to mascara, I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational, and I'm currently actually trying to grow out my lashes. I bought a serum because my lashes kind of suck, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and just put on this mascara, and hopefully in the next few months or weeks, whatever it takes, I'll start getting a little better lash. So I'm just going to apply... A couple coats to my top and then a really light coat to my bottom. Right, last step is lips, which I've been doing this lip combination basically for months. Um, it is a lip liner and a lip gloss. This is by MAC and it's in the color Whirl. I basically use this as my lip liner and the lipstick. So I'll line my entire lip and then kind of fill it in all over and then I'll top it with my lip gloss. So I'm going to start by just filling in my lips. This is just the lip liner, which I love this too, but I think today, because I'm kind of going for that glowier look, I'm going to add a lip gloss on top. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie that I love, and I'm just going to kind of put that in the center of my lips. Okay, and that is it. That is basically how I do my makeup every single day. Now that I've done it so many times, it takes me about 10 minutes in the morning, and I think it's super pretty, pretty natural, but also still gives that like bronzy, glowy look that I love right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will leave all the products that I use below. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Love talking to you guys on there. Make sure that you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!